Welcome back to Yoshi Entertainment, everybody. And I'm back with another funniest comments video. This video was taken from Twitter, uh, as you can see by the Twitter account Ron Filipkowski. And as you can see, a woman interrupted a school board meeting by yelling that masks are child abuse. I think we're at the point where I don't even have to tell what state it is anymore. Now this is just a brief little picture clip from the video if you want to see the video. Um, it's on Twitter. It's probably on YouTube. But uh, yeah, you guessed it. It was um, in the good old state of Florida. Uh, I'm just going to jump right into it. All right. Now what's abuse is what she's doing to those clothes she's wearing. And all the people in the room have to see all that. The clothes are screaming from the pain. Who shows up to a public professional meeting just like that? Now, this person has a point here, a very valid point. Now, you want people to take you seriously in a professional setting, which a school board meeting is a professional setting. You got to at least dress properly. And she was not. Uh, a mask during the pandemic is child abuse. But making a six-year-old play tackle football or enter creepy beauty pageants is probably fine and dandy with her. Another very valid point. Is requiring children to sit in car seats child abuse? Wearing seat belts when they're older? Banning smoking in public places so children don't inhale it? People being required to wear clothes in public so people don't see their genitals? We have rules for the public good. One Twitter user says, I work in healthcare and you would be shocked at how bad of an impact COVID has had on our youth's mental health. And I believe it. I really do. To stop giving people like this attention. It's literally all they want. We give it to them, and it gives them a sense of legitimacy. I agree, and we should shame members of society that act like this. Maybe they'll think twice about doing something crazy again. I believe I have been damaged by viewing this lady's outfit. I think we all have, at least by a little bit. Didn't she do exactly what Tucker told her to do? Mm, just what the Tuckums ordered. So apparently a lot of people have been saying that uh, I think his name is Carlson Tucker or something like that. I guess some news reporter from like Fox News or something has been telling people to say and do stuff like this. But it's like, come on now, accountability, you know, um, use it sometime like accountability and common sense. You know, they don't have to listen to what he's saying, but hey. Congratulations to Tucker Carlson. Oops, I got his name wrong. And Rupert Murdoch for fomenting this kind of unrest and putting children across the nation at risk. Mm, that's right. Accountability. Oh, the, quote, lady with the purple hair, no bra, and probably smelling like alcohol. Didn't see that coming. <laughs> the sarcasm. Her walking around brawless in a tank top is what's child abuse and an assault on people's senses. Yikes. Yikes, indeed. It's not her fault. Tucker Carlson is telling his viewers to do this. Blaming her is like blaming a toddler for walking into a busy street. Ooh, shots fired. This person just compared her intelligence to that of a toddler. But are they wrong, though? Over in stupidity, two of our greatest enemies in 2021. But let's be honest, stupidity has been in the lead for that title for quite some time now and as of late. Well, she won't be able to take her kids to Disney World without wearing masks, so there's that. Another very valid point. People are out of their minds and the people feeling them should be held accountable. I agree. Not just masks. She also thinks wearing a bra is unnecessary. <laughs> she actually left home wearing that outfit to make a scene at her kid's school school board meeting. The woman is on a mission to embarrass her kids. Let's be perfectly clear so everyone understands. Quote, Florida woman interrupts a school board meeting. End quote. We can instantly understand the exact problem when the first two words start that way. You ain't never lied, but you said a whole mouthful. Let me stop before Texas. We we ain't that we ain't that far that far from Florida at this point. Let me just be honest. I first thought Texas. It's so hard to tell Florida and Texas apart. See, that's what I just said. Anyways, 
Fortunately, Texas has places like Austin to reduce the idiocy. But for how long? That woman is the enemy. Oh my. Child abuse is giving your kid a weapon. Child abuse is teaching your kid to hate other people. Child abuse is putting religion before science. Child abuse is Matt Gates. Well, they said a mouthful too. I agree with most of what they said, to be honest. The only part that I don't really agree with is the whole, well, religion before science. I wouldn't call it religion, but you know, I am a Christian and I would put my faith before science, you know, if I felt like that's something that, you know, I was personally convicted to do. I know that might sound crazy, you know, if you don't roll that way, you don't roll that way, it's fine, you know. But that's how, that's just me. But everything else, I completely, well, other than that, she's the enemy person. That That was kind of, that was kind of deep. But anyways, everything else I agree with, though. One of the candidates for our school board in my part of Texas ran on this masks or child abuse platform. She lost. I guess it's a trend with the cues now. Now, wait a minute. What part of Texas was this? Uh-uh. I, I gotta stay away from these people at all costs. I, I need to figure out what part of Texas this is because don't nobody want that kind of stupidity up over here. I sent out theme of the week of orders a few days ago. Ooh, they just keep throwing this man under the bus. But hey, if the shoe fits, you know the rest. When they ask me why I commute from Florida to work in Boston every other week, I will show them this as reason number 806. Time to take the meth crazed gators and Florida man grope Disney characters news stories out of rotation for this lovely lady instead. Hashtag, oh Florida. The child abuse is the purple haired brawless mom in yoga pants humiliating her child in front of the entire school. <laughs> We need to sit these people down like children and teach them about disease contagion and transmission. Use visual aids and computer games if necessary. Man, they are really treating this lady's intelligence like that of a child, but she did bring it on herself, so. Uh, she'd probably need another six years of schooling before she'd comprehend the words contagion or transmission. Why you keep talking about transmission and covert in the same sentence? What's my car's automatic have to do with this hair virus? Sounds about right. People have way too much time on their hands. We need to go back to hunting for our food, sewing our own clothes or something. See, hey, idle hands, a devil's workshop, and idle lips his mouthpiece. So the devil must have been working all up and through this lady to hatch this plan that she did. Feel free to homeschool instead of screaming about something you don't like. Hey, speak the truth. Well, I guess in this case, it would be tweet the truth. This person was replying to the tweet before and says, I know what you're saying, but heck no. We don't want parents like this homeschooling their kids. That's how this kind of ignorance spreads over generations. Ooh, but they do have a point, though. Nice. Looks like she wore her Sunday best to speak in front of the school board. Super professional look with the hot pink sweats and the brawless cami forced to work overtime while also clearly being over the carrying capacity. The sarcasm. I love it. You really do need to tell the name of the state now because unfortunately Florida man has children all over the dang country. These stories are in all states now. Yeah, unfortunately amongst the said states are Texas. I guess was Flo Texicans were. So all my bases are covered. They say I just throw all of them in there. I guessed correctly. As a Mississippian, I am thankful to Florida for giving us a reprieve from the first state that comes to mind when foolishness happens. She had more faith in that tiny spaghetti strap sewn by children in sweatshops than he does for highly educated scientists. I don't get it. They're everywhere. I live in a suburban area of Indiana and we have COVID idiots protesting the school board as well. Two of five board members voted to remove masks as well at the last meeting. This is what happens when you give crazy a media outlet. Man, I don't even like that ratio. Two whole adults agreed to that madness? Why do these people insist on wearing clothes that are three sizes too small? That's abuse in and of itself. Hashtag mask up. Oh, my eyes. My eyes. Yeah, I wonder where she got this idea from. They are not holding back on this guy at all. I like how she got dressed up for this meeting. She's letting everyone know how important this issue is by wearing her ill-fitting tank top 
and pink leggings. Just out of curiosity, is there a gif of the state being sawed off by Bugs Bunny? Somebody replied to that comment with the exact gif that they were asking about. Now, it's not being played here on this uh, YouTube channel, but you can find it on the Twitter page. Her outfit that fits like sausage casing speaks volumes. I agree. So someone uh, posted a nice little book, well, a picture of a book as a reply to this overall post. God dang it, I'm freaking sick of Florida by Carolyn King, Nancy Drew Stories. Very interesting. God, it's so embarrassing down here. I agree with that statement too. There's one born every few seconds today. Crazy parents, that is. And you know it's crazy for real when it's spelled with a K instead of a C. 